So, a lot can change in one week. This is my six weeks pregnant update where I'll be talking about some symptom changes since finding out I was pregnant about a week ago and what's been different in the first week since knowing. And I think I said last time in my five week pregnant video that I wasn't really feeling a lot of symptoms and so that's one reason why I was kind of surprised to find out that I actually was pregnant. And uh, this week has been totally different. I feel like as soon as I found out, I was more aware of every single symptom, but it's like they just flooded in between five and six weeks pregnant. I was like, oh, that looks familiar. That seems familiar. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. And having uh, my third pregnancy now after having two babies, it is very familiar. And so it's just kind of funny to me how you know, surprised I was to just back to back have, you know, new symptoms over the past week. And uh, so this is kind of my update of how it's feeling at this point in pregnancy. Of course, as soon as we found out, we were so excited and we started telling people and we're just trying to, you know, make this adjustment and, uh, you know, think about the future. And so all of that was really exciting. And so this week, I feel like it settled in a little bit more. And so... I have been thinking through like, well, what do we want to do different this time through this pregnancy and what kind of birth do we want to have and what kind of, um, you know, what kind of plan do we want to do? And so I feel like there's been a lot of thinking this past week. Um, I do want to have another home birth. I think that was so beautiful last time and was so grateful to be able to do that. And I think I'll make some more videos about my previous birth stories because I had two totally different scenarios and who knows what will happen with the third baby. It could be totally different again. But I loved, uh, you know, going along with um, pregnancy and ended up, you know, going into labor and having natural births. And uh, so I definitely wanted to do that again. So I've been doing some research and... I don't have to start all the way from scratch because again with the third baby I know kind of how my body works how pregnancy works you know um, I researched a lot about the baby's growth and that's always so fun to see like how big are they at each week of pregnancy but this time I'm just like adding another layer of knowledge and have different levels of questions so I've been looking into um, you know thinking about different ways to go about pregnancy this time and so i'm just like looking into options and looking into resources and uh really just thinking about what i liked before what i'd like to do differently and also we haven't officially announced to the world that we're pregnant yet i haven't posted about it on social media and i'm kind of taking this time to uh, just tell people as we see them or you know make sure we tell family and uh, so that's been really sweet to, you know, have those little moments to surprise people and let them in on it before it's, you know, public information. But I am looking forward to announcing it and that has seemed kind of weird of like, how do we announce it this time? Uh, one thing was that we used our first ultrasound for the last two babies to announce at about eight weeks. And I liked doing that, but I don't think we're gonna do an early ultrasound this time, so I was like, well, what am I gonna do? I might just post a picture of the positive pregnancy test and just say, hey, like another baby's on the way. And that's kind of my thought at this moment. So um, probably in the next week or so, week and a half, maybe two weeks, we'll be posting the announcement. And uh, as far as symptoms, I'll just kind of list off. I might have to start like making notes of this or writing it down because it's kind of a lot. But like as soon as I found out I was pregnant, like right after that, I realized, yes, I have to pee all the time. I'm like always going to the bathroom and I am trying to drink plenty of water, but it's like definitely <laughs> something that I had to go all the time. And before I was able to wait a long time, you know, I have toddlers, so I'm like chasing them around all the time um, and don't usually have time to go to the bathroom. But now I'm making the time. I've also realized that my body is like slowing me down. It's like, okay, walk a little slower or take some time to do this you don't have to do this right away and so i'm feeling like you know more protective of my body and especially uh, my belly and i'm like you know nobody bump into my belly and i want to make sure that 
um, you know, that I'm getting enough sleep and drinking enough water and just really um, trying to give myself the best shot at, uh, you know, having good natural energy. And I am sleeping pretty good. I have started sleeping on my left side because that's helpful for blood flow. And so I'm trying to do that when I can. And as far as symptoms, I've already had like some random aches or pains, um, like little muscles pulling or something. And I know that like ligaments are moving around and things are shifting. And so I'm trying to just be gentle with my body. And uh, one of the best things I've ever done for my health is to go to a chiropractor regularly. And I think I've mentioned this in past pregnancy videos from the second baby uh, was I was doing regular checkups and that has helped me really um, just maintain and prevent a lot of things by going to the chiropractor. And uh, I actually didn't go for almost three weeks. I have been going weekly, but it was almost three weeks and I was like, I need this. So I ended up going two times in one week and I told my chiropractor that I was pregnant and you know, sometimes that will modify different things that he does and um, he's had a lot of experience adjusting pregnant ladies and so I felt instantly better after getting adjusted and that helped a lot with kind of, you know, the shifting that I was talking about of just like, <laughs> things are shaking up in there. There's another person in there and uh, they're making room. You know, organs are getting squished around already and you know, already like the pressure on my bladder and hormones are crazy. And so it's amazing, like at this point, at six weeks pregnant, I'm not showing. I am bloating a little bit, like I can tell. I can tell my uterus is a little firmer than usual, but like literally anyone else looking at me would not be able to tell that there's any kind of baby bump at six weeks, but I feel so pregnant. And so I'm already like wearing stretchy, comfortable clothes. I'm not into uh, maternity clothes yet. You know, I'm not like, um, you know, into another size. My clothes aren't that tight yet, but I'm just already getting more comfy. I want to get cozy. Um, I do have maternity clothes from before. And so I have those at the ready as soon as, you know, that baby bump starts showing. And as soon as my other clothes get tight, you know, I'm going into those maternity clothes, no problem there. And so, you know, I have some favorites that I hung on to and uh, that's a good thing because I'm going to need them again. So those are some of the symptoms. I have like had a few random moments of like getting dizzy. And so I make sure to eat something or make sure I'm drinking enough water or just like rest or take a break. Like I said, kind of being gentle with myself because I know so many changes are happening right now in my body and I just need that. So I'm trying to listen and not like try to just push through it or like push my body further than it needs to go. And so I feel really good about like this point in the pregnancy. I feel, you know, strong and healthy, but I also feel like very sleepy. I've been yawning a lot during the day and I haven't been drinking coffee as much as I was before. Um, actually, before I even found out I was pregnant, I was already kind of um, weaning myself off of having coffee every day. And so I really haven't been having very much coffee and not trying to like, you know, stimulate my energy. I just want to, you know, do the best that I can to boost my natural energy and also just rest because that's the best thing that I can do right now as my body is working hard, growing a little human, and I'm just so excited. I feel like I am more, you know, into the idea. I've gotten used to it and so I'm like, okay, here we go, like 100%, I'm all in, like let's do this. Um, it's been really cool just talking about it, thinking about it. I do think we're gonna wait to find out the gender this time because we did find out with the first two and it's really awesome to have a girl and have a boy, we've got one of each. And so really we're ready either way. Uh, so we've got girl clothes, we've got boy clothes. Uh, we love little girls and little boys, like it doesn't matter. We are so over the moon and just so excited. And I know my husband has been fine with waiting, but I wanted to find out each time. And this time I have more peace about waiting, finding out when the baby's born. So we'll see if that happens. We'll see if um, we, you know, accidentally find out. I don't know, uh, but we're not planning to at this point. So that's where I'm at. 
at six weeks pregnant. I want to keep doing some of these updates for you and I'd like to know what your questions are so I can you know, share some of the information that I've learned and my personal experience of just how I'm feeling, how things are changing during the process and just encourage anyone out there that is maybe going through the process or wanting to go through the process of being pregnant and just curious of what it's actually like. I try to be real and honest and also you know, share the beautiful things of going through pregnancy and birth and postpartum and motherhood. I'm just so thankful to be on this journey. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.